All right, so in this continuation of the scales, and I'm messing around with the F major scale, uh, one of the biggest challenges that guitarists have, and I have at least, is um, note selection or deciding where to play a specific note. So I'm going to use the F major scale as a way of doing that. When you buy chord books, or I should say when you buy scale books, or if you're learning online, or just if you're teaching yourself and you're trying to figure out and navigate your way through the instrument, you become very confused because there are different ways to play the exact same thing. Uh, so let's look at the F major scale again. I'm just going to take this one position. So say F major, seventh. So the scale that I use a lot right here is just, it looks something like this. Now this B flat is what I want to talk about. You see it right here? That's where I placed it. I don't know if it was earlier on. I got it out of a book to place it like that, as opposed to. They're both B flats. You can either do, you can either shift and play it here, or keep it like that. I played with my index finger peeled backwards. I don't shift, so. Not. So. A lot of people play it or learn it that way. The B flat is still a B flat, but just little things like that deciding how to um, play it. So, you know, it's whatever is easy and whatever the muscle memory will, will allow you. So the same scale. So you got. I do it that way because uh, maybe because I have a little bit longer fingers. I can peel back and I can do a stretch like that. A lot of people shift. Um, and I like it for me personally because it keeps me in the same position. So um, so very little shifting from that pers perspective. Some people like um, three notes um, of scale. So the exact same scale. So if you notice in this version, um, you got so that's just three notes um, every string. So this I got two notes here, three two notes on the A string, F G A B flat. C, D, E, F. So two notes here, three here. Then two notes here. And then three down here. So it can be a little schizo. I can think that's more complicated. So go. Versus. So, I mean, there you have it. The way I kind of like to think about it, you want it in your arsenal. I always think about it, okay, do I want to point it north or south, right? If I'm pointing it north, that means I'm going up in my, my definition. So if I'm doing a scalar run, I might want to point it that way. If I'm, uh, if I'm pointing it south, I want to go lower. So I'm pointing it this way, so. Versus. All right, that's the beauty of the, of the guitar. Is this complexity? It's the simplicity, but complexity and stuff. So, um, I guess the point that I wanted to stress is that just figure out the way that it's easier for your mind to think and for your muscle memory to be reinforced. Don't try to do too much. Some people like three note scales. Some people like two note scales and first string. Some like it, you know, peeling it back. Like I started off with the B flat. And some like shifting. It's all up to you. Uh, the notes are the notes, and you know whatever you're comfortable with will make you play better. Thank you again for watching. Practice, practice, practice. I think I'm done for now with the F major scale. Bye now.